This, this is the Matrix Out with John Matrix. Pop culture, news, and reviews. Buckle up for the ride. Here is John Matrix. Welcome in, everybody, to the Matrix Hour podcast. John Matrix here back again with his beautiful wife and our baby, our dog. How are you guys doing today? I'm fine. Good, good. She's uh, I tired. guess she's tired. Yeah, we we walked her this morning and uh, it's been raining a lot. You guys may actually hear some of the raindrops uh, hitting the roof right now because it's actually raining right now at the moment. But overall, at least we're beating the heat. Yes, because guys, I don't know about you guys, but Houston gets pretty hot this time of year. But we're getting a break from the heat, and my wife does not like the heat. No. <laughs> she She's actually from uh, Seattle. So you like colder weather, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a different type of um, podcast day. You guys can actually uh, thank my wife for the topics we're going to be talking about. It's going to be, I guess, more lighthearted, I guess you can say. different. Yeah. It's not going to be political. No. But we're going to be talking about TV shows mainly. Yes. Uh, we watch a lot of TV shows. I'm a bit fan of uh, TV shows. Not so much movies anymore. Mm, that's one movie that I like, the, the Tomorrow War. Yeah, with uh, Chris Pratt. She was watching it uh, yesterday. She watched the whole movie. I kind of watched it sparingly. Um, one thing is probably a good movie because the critics hate it. But everyday people, like me and you, the reviews are pretty good for it. Yeah, I really like it. Um, yeah, you laugh at me because I cry. <laughs> she cries <laughs> on TV shows and movies. I mean, I only watched parts of it, so I don't know if it was emotional or not. Well, I, don't, I don't cry on movies. It's emotional because um, for me, it's... Um, that um, in the beginning, like, um, he's not, well, he didn't got the job and um, he was depressed and, um, you no, know. When don't, he, don't spoil the movie. Though. Okay. <laughs> well, in the future, when he, you know, goes to the future. Right. And uh, because there's, you know, war fighting with the aliens and the humans are losing. And so, um, the the movie is real touching because of the relationship between his daughter and him. And um, after he saw what happened and understand, you know, that um, his, you know, life that he hasn't lived, but um, newsflash, guys, there's a uh, time travel. Yeah. In this movie. And his daughter... Just know, don't don't try to spoil it, though. Well, his daughter know what happened to him. And right. since he has a second chance and, you know, he went back after he got, you know, the the antidote um, to kill the aliens. Yeah. Okay. yeah. This, this movie does have kind of an alien Prometheus feel if you're into the... Yes. Um, old alien movies with Sigourney Weaver back in the 70s and 80s. It does have that feel. Like I said, I didn't watch the whole movie. Um, did you see Alien? Yes. It's, it's kind of similar. Yeah, Aliens. And, um, well, the thing is that he has a check, second chance to go back to do the right thing. And, um, you know, to save his family and the world. And it's just real emotional and I don't know why my husband doesn't cry, but I don't. I don't cry on movies. I don't cry on movies. That's just not my thing. Yeah, I guess it's the I've never. Thing. No, I. I mean, I've never cried on a movie. There's some guys that cry on movies. I'm not one of them. I don't cry. That's not my thing. You cry a lot more than me on movies. Yeah, and you laugh at me. <laughs> no, no, no. The thing is, guys. When I see that she's um, getting emotional watching something, I'll say, you're crying? And she'll deny it. And yeah, then I she'll don't... start laughing while her eyes are watering up 
because I know she's she, I'm not making fun of you. Admit it. You cry on movies. Just admit it. Yeah. You think I'm weak. <laughs> no, I don't think you're weak. But I think you do cry on movies. Admit it. Well, it's emotional, you know. You never cry on Star Wars. Mm, I cry when um you know, uh you know, when Anakin, you know, turned to the dark side and Pat May dies. Yeah, episode three. I know there's some people that have done that. Even I didn't do it. And you know how much I love those movies. Yeah. You know how much I love George Lucas Star Wars movies. Not Disney Star Wars. The, those are trash. I'm talking about the George Lucas movies. And that was emotional when he's in the suit and then Padme's dying. But I never cried. That's just not my thing. Mm, yeah. I mean, you would have to make... Did you cry on Titanic? Yes. I know <laughs> I know a lot of people I cried that in cried. the movie theater. I know a bunch of people that were crying on Titanic. But yes. James Cameron... One of the greatest directors of all time, one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, you know. He he made it an emotional movie, but I still never cried on Titanic. Never. Well, I even cried a lot when I watched um, the TV show um, "Touched by an Angel." <laughs> <laughs> Touched by an Angel. Mm-hmm. But you love that show. Yeah, I do. Did Did you watch it before you started recording all of them? Mm, no. Not real. I know it was a real popular show back in the 90s and early 2000s, but I never watched it. It's good. It's touching. Yeah, I, wa- I watched some episodes just because you watch them, and I'm just kind of um, half-heartedly just watching it just because I'm sitting next to you. Overall, I really d- don't know the show very well. Um, I like Della Reese. Roma Downey is really good, too. I know them, but I just never got into the show. My wife loves that show. Yes. It's just about like angels. They're helping people solve their problems, right? You know. Yeah, they go around doing different missions on every um, every episode. They're kind of flawed too, in a way. I mean, they're angels. They're not perfect. So yeah. I, I mean, it, it's it's good. I'm not gonna lie. The few episodes I've seen is pretty good. But I believe there's like 178 episodes. I'm not do. I'm not <laughs> watching all those. Okay, just not gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about Manifest. Yeah, Manifest. Season three of Manifest ended, what, a few weeks ago? Yes. Mm-hmm. I got into Manifest because my wife um, found out. How did you actually find out about that show? Um, That was when um, I think we still have the John Matrix website. And I was, you know, kind of, you know, going through. Okay. You know, the series, and um, I was just watching TV, and it just popped up, and so it's like, okay, yeah, okay, that sounds cool. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, if anybody that doesn't know, it, they're basically, it's this flight, 828, mm-hmm. they go through some turbulence, and this, this is just a synopsis, it's not a spoiler, they go through turbulence, and then they land where they're supposed to land, but they find out they have returned five years in the future. And they were presumed to be dead. And there's three seasons of this show. And they get all all these kind of callings to do different things. Uh, the people from 828. And it's really, really good. And season three ended on a huge cliffhanger. It was weird. Really, yes. really weird. I love that show. But NBC canceled it. If you watch... Every single season of that show, if you watch the final episode of season three, you will be pissed off that NBC canceled that show. Yes. I don't understand why they did it. I don't know. The show was so good and they they didn't. Nothing was really resolved with the show. I think in one episode, one or two episodes, they mentioned about. God or something? Yeah, it, de- it definitely has a biblical connection. Yeah. Maybe they're fo- following the orders of God. The I don't calling. know. Yeah, the callings, but but still the way the way it ended was really good. And the reviews for Manifest were good. And NBC still canceled it. Now, 
you can actually watch all the seasons on Netflix now. Netflix picked up Manifest, but season four is in real question. It may not even get made. Yeah, I'm still questioning about the the girl in the movie. I don't know if she's, you know, she, she definitely has something wrong when she end up killing the mother at the end. Yeah, thanks for spoiling it, but uh Well, sorry. yeah. <laughs> but but guys, let me let me let, let you guys understand my wife. She's the kind of person that will read a book, read the end of it first so she can understand and go back and read it. She'll also she loves to be spoiled on movies. She doesn't yeah. like surprises. So, but you talking about Angelina? Yeah, that that girl. Yeah, she was very very questionable in season three. They should have kept the show going. Yeah, at first I thought she, you know, is, is a good girl because the like uh, she is connected to what's the Kevin? Is that the, the little boy? the baby the baby Eaton? Eden and the the little boy. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the son. Yeah, yeah, the son. But then, the, like, the son trusts her. Yes, and the, the mother didn't. Yeah, and like at the end, she killed the mother, which you know. Yeah, there's no there's no resolution. You don't understand what was what was happening because yeah. Cal newsflash, since she's already spoiled the end. That's this Cal touches the. The um the tail fin of the plane that they found, and he disappears. Yeah, he at, the, at the end of the episode, he comes back, and he's aged like five years. She's like age what seventeen? Yeah. It. Come on, NBC, you should not have canceled that. Make another season. Hopefully, Netflix gets gets this result. But you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't because NBC also canceled. The TV show Hannibal, when it came out in uh, 2013, Hannibal Lecter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they canceled that. And Mads Mikkelsen, Mikkelsen, who actually played Hannibal Lecter in the show, he's really been pushing to get uh, season, what season was it? Season four? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. He's a very good actor. Yeah, he's a really good actor. He's a really good Hannibal Lecter. Mm -hmm. He really wants the next season to get made and because, you know, they were kind of teasing Clary Starling coming in, you know, from silence of the lambs. Mm -hmm. But the problem is it's probably the same reason why the Clary show was canceled because in that Clary show, different companies owned the different rights to different characters. So in that Clary show, they couldn't even mention the name of Hannibal Lecter just like in, um, the Hannibal show, they couldn't mention the name of Clary Starling. So I believe there's too many companies owning different rights. Mm -hmm. That that That's a problem right there. It it all needs to get resolved, but I don't think the next Hannibal season is going to happen. Just like I don't think Manifest, Manifest is going to come back. Yeah, I don't know about the TV show uh, Debris. Debris canceled after one season. Another show. It's really good. It's pretty good. Kind of like the X Files. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of X Files. Yep. End of season one. And you can tell, you know, they were trying to set up like a second season because it didn't it didn't uh, conclude anything. Yeah. It was just, I guess, just setting up the next season. But oh no. Let's cancel that too. Every single show seems to be canceled. It's, it's so annoying that we get good TV shows because I believe that TV shows are better than movies now. Yes. I, I don't even think that's really much of a question right now. It's better than the movies. I mean, right now, uh, Black Widow is not getting the best reviews. That's an MCU movie. I haven't I'm, seen that. No, well, it just came out. Oh. It just came out. Um. Loki, you, you, I don't like that. You like some of the episodes of Loki. First episode of Loki. It's all right. I thought it was boring. I didn't watch the rest of them, but you made it through what four episodes? No, uh, the third one. The well, the third one, I'm kind of confused because um, it just like Loki. He's you know see like the 
alternative Loki, but、uh, Loki is a woman, not a guy. Yeah, the wokeness in the MCU.、Huh. And the first episode is okay, but I'm kind of confused. Where like, well, you know, Loki is a god, but he went to you know another universe, and he has no power at all. He just like a regular person, you yeah, know? yeah. And it just to me, it just doesn't seem like you know. I always thought like Loki is. Like he's a god, and no one can beat him except the other god, you know, in right, the movie. Right, right, right. But in this show, it's like he has no power, you know. Yeah, I have no desire to watch Loki. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm out on the MCU. I'm out on Star Wars, and I grew up a bit time Star Wars fan. Disney has destroyed Star Wars. I don't care about it anymore. I like TV shows. Outlander. I love Outlander, even though the main character in Outlander, Claire, I don't like what she did to her husband. Even though the show is damn good, it is really, really damn good. But how many times do I complain about Claire in that show? A lot. A lot. But the show is damn good, like really, really good time travel stuff. But、uh, it's not a, it's not really a sci-fi show though. You know, it's about these stones. It's very popular on stars, and they they have they have finished or they're they're shooting、um, season six right now,、mm-hmm. and I believe it's actually going to come out next year. They have problems, you know, because of the pandemic and everything like that. But they're back to filming it. It's really really good, and it's based on books. Hopefully, it does not get destroyed like Game of Thrones was. Season eight of Game of Thrones awful, but. Outlander, a really good show, and shout out to your aunt for recommending that show because I liked it.、Mm. it at first, though, I was kind of like,、uh, "All right, my wife wants to watch it." I just kind of half-heartedly watched the first episode. I need to go back and watch the first episode again to to understand that because I was just kind of watching it first just to, "All right, I'll watch it with you." That's the way I was thinking, but but I like the show now. More than you do, right?、Mm-hmm. What what don't you like about the show now? Well, it just you know, really at first I like the you know the traveling the stones. Yeah, the stones. And now it's just you know not really interested. Yeah, I get it, but I, I like it though. I like I like you know history. It's kind of. Amazing to actually see,、um, you know, colonialism, because now it's taking place. It started off in、uh, Scotland, now it's in, taking place in the Americas now. And looks like the dog is kind of r- growling a little bit. Maybe it's the thunder because I believe it's it's raining outside still. But you know what? Maybe she maybe she's mad about NBC canceling all these shows. Yes, that's probably what it is. So. Another、um, one of the show that I like and it's canceled is、um, it's called like the Brave New World. Yeah, Brave New World、um, on Peacock TV. We got Peacock.、Mm-hmm. Uh, my wife loved it. I was like,、mm, okay. Well, I couldn't really get into it. The last episode, I think, is episode four. I kind of、um, don't get it. But it's basically about,、um, you know, there's a two world, and one is kind of, you know, the, I guess they consider it as an old world because they call it, they call the people like savages and yeah, like normal people like me and you. Yeah, and the new world is more like the progressive world. Yeah, yeah, it's like like. When if、um, it's almost like a communist world, yeah, they control if, everything about you. Yeah, and they like、um, like people. You know, it's shameful if like a woman have a child. You know, or if they call、uh, a mother or father. Yeah, they you know, they put、so. they pop pills a lot to. Yeah, I guess control their. Mind. Their minds or emotions or、And、something like that. And they put something into their eyes. Yeah, it's 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 weird, 
she likes the show more than me. I mean, I'm watching these shows mainly. Mainly all the shows I'm watching now is because she recommended them to me. Um, some are hit or miss. Love Manifest, mm -hmm. canceled. Love Outlander, that's still going on. Hannibal, I love, canceled. Why don't they cancel some of these bad movies that they're putting out? I, I don't know. I don't get that. They are promoting woke movie TV. Yeah, woke, woke movies are definitely out there. Uh, Loki, I heard that's going that's going woke too. They turned Loki into a um a bisexual now. Yeah, I like the character of Loki, but yeah, Loki's not in that TV show. Yeah, Loki's an interesting character. Um, not so much in TV show. A lot of people. Don't like it too much. I mean, I'm so. Well, I, I did see. cry when uh, you cried on Loki. Yeah, on that movie <laughs> at the end when Loki, you know, like um, Thanos kill him because he wants to turn back well, to a good person. Well, that was um, that was in um, the beginning of uh, Avengers um, in Endgame. Yeah, yeah. I no, no, cry. no. It was Infinity it's War. A, Infinity War. Yeah, that's it. You got killed. The I, I that. cry on that. He's, she cried on Avengers. Infinity War when Loki died, even though we all knew he was gonna come back, you know, in Endgame. Yeah, but it's kind of like, you know, he's bad villain, and then like because of his brother, he's turned back to do the right thing. And, yeah, yeah. You know. oh, okay, we covered a lot in this episode here. A any other final words? I like doing this movie yeah, talk. I like the movie. TV I li show. I like that. I liked it. Th this was fun. This was a whole bunch of fun, guys. So. Get away from politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is much more free flowing, I guess. You know, we feel more comfortable, I guess, talking about movies yeah. because I think we can all relate to, you know, movies and entertainment. You know, like I have a, um, I'm on the desk in front of us, we have a, a Predator and we have the T 800 from Terminator right here. So <laughs> I'm into good old classic entertainment. I, I can say not so much the modern woke stuff, um, certain TV shows I like. Most movies, I don't care too much. I don't have any desire to go to a movie theater. None. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no movie I'm really lo looking forward to. Oh, Mission Impossible 7 comes out next year. I'm looking forward to that. Tom Cruise, big fan of his movies. They're not woke. But pretty much everything else, too woke for me. Yeah. So that's going to wrap up this show, guys. I hope you guys are being safe. Have a great day. And we'll catch you next time. Thank you for listening to The Matrix Hour with John Matrix. Join us next time for pop culture, news, and reviews. <laughs>